Howdy -o. So next up is how to get Elementor onto your WordPress website and how to get it all set up correctly. Now, I always recommend Elementor Pro and all my templates are going to be based on Elementor Pro. And one of the big reasons is that you get their form builder as part of that, um, which saves you a lot of money in the long run. And you can just do the line page so much better and it's worth every penny that you pay. If you know me by now, I don't recommend anything to buy unless you I actually do rate it, okay? I would only ever tell people to buy what I believe they need to get. So just so you know, they do have a pricing where they've got WordPress hosting well. Um, but what you're interested in is the page builder. So if you click on that, you'll see the pricing come up. So you just need this one, the one pro website, which is $59 a year, very affordable. Um, and you just press buy now on that and you would purchase it and you'd have a login for you to go ahead and do what you need to do to get this installed on. So I'm going to not obviously click that because I already have our subscription to this. So you would purchase the pro. I am not teaching the free version of Elementor. If you choose to use the free version, it is down to yourself to figure things out. Um, I do highly recommend though that you do get it because it includes an easy to build form builder, which literally is so, so important. You get a lot more features in regards to the widgets and elements that you can use. You get templates included as part of it. Something called a the theme builder, which just makes it so much easier to do your headers and footers. Um, so there's a lot in there and I just really, really recommend that you do go for that. So next up, I'm going to just log in quickly and then we're going to get this all installed. Right, okay, so what we're going to do first is we are now going to install Elementor. So if we go in here, we're going to search Elementor, ignore me, I need to press add new. We're going to press add new, then we're going to search Elementor and we need to put in the free version before we put in the pro version. So here we can see Elementor website builder, we're going to press install now. Then press activate. And then it's going to ask us to create an account if we haven't already or connect. So hopefully by now you've bought your pro version and then you will press connect your account. So we can see it's already asking me to connect my account. So I'm just going to press connect. Asking me to give my site a name. You can skip this step. So press skip, press skip again. And then it's going to redirect you to very annoyingly a post, um, which we don't want to do. Now, there's something I need to talk to you about, which is something in that has changed recently in Elementor. Now, they have something now called containers instead of inner sections. Previously, all my training has been on inner sections, but I want to make sure that I'm giving you the most up to date training. And therefore, we are now going to be teaching containers. So if you've previously installed Elementor onto your website, more than likely it is using intersections. Don't worry about it. You can convert things over quite easily to containers um, and they will still work anyways, your old ones. But what I'm going to do is activate containers and I expect anyone who installed this for the first time to do the same. So press activate containers and what it will do is redirect you to this page. And what we want to do is where it says Flexbox container, we want to put active on that because we want that to be something that we actually have on and scroll down to the bottom and then um, it's totally optional but you can put this landing page on but we're just going to leave it off and just press save changes happy day so now we've got the flex back but like what container on next step is we need to install the pro version now to do this you need to go to the elemental website and log in and when you're logged in you'll see at the very top right a download button so if you press download and press download again, it's going to download a zip file at the bottom. Now, if we go back into website, and not that one, there we go, and um, we can press plugins, add new. And what we would do is press upload plugin here at the top, choose file, and we would choose the element of pro plugin zip file. Press open and press install now. And now what it's going to do, it's going to install Elementor Pro for us. And then you're going to press activate. And that's it now. So now it's installed Elementor onto the website. So the final thing we want to do is press this connect and activate button. And again, it's going to ask us to connect our website. We're going to press activate 
And then that means it's going to take up on one of our lighting spaces. You only have one if you have a $59 plan. Like me, I have quite a few more on my plan. And that's it. So now that is installed and ready to go. So in the final video, we are just going to set up the Elementor settings to make sure that we have everything set up and everything nice and smoothly running for us. And then I will also do a video on how you would actually import a template in so that you'll know how to do that and so that you can actually use them as well.